Anyone who lives north of the line connecting San Francisco to Philadelphia or Athens to Beijing are probably not getting enough vitamin D. Plus with our indoor lifestyle, it's harder and harder for us to get the vitamin D that we need every day. And unfortunately being deficient, we are at an increased risk of a host of chronic diseases, but I have some good news for you. Taking a vitamin D supplement will definitely do the trick. And today we're gonna to be talking about why vitamin D is the vitamin to take. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jess and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist, so let's dive in. Last year, the British Medical Journal released a huge study that showed that people who actually take vitamin D are 16% less likely to get cancer. 16%, that's a huge number. So that's one six, which is pretty amazing. Number two, vitamin D actually can ward off seasonal affective disorder by elevating our moods. So it's kind of a happy vitamin. Vitamin D also boosts our immune system. It also helps us absorb calcium and phosphorus to keep our bones and teeth really healthy. And last but not least, vitamin D is an amazing anti-inflammatory nutrient. So that is why vitamin D is the vitamin to take. Now the question is, is how much vitamin D should you be taking? And there's a lot of scientific debate, there is with everything, of how much vitamin D we need to be taking a day. So in Health Canada's perspective, they recommend a minimum of 600 IU, that's international units, a day. Personally, for me, in my practice, as well as how much I take a day, I take about 2,000 IU every single day. You can also get vitamin D from food. So it's not as prevalent in food, which is why we do recommend taking it as a supplement. But the food sources of vitamin D include fish, like salmon, milk. With milk, though, you want to make sure you're doing like a 1% or a 2%, only because vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin. So if you don't actually have any milk fat in your milk, you might not absorb the vitamin D from milk. And the other one is non-dairy milks as well. So again, make sure your non-dairy milk, like your almond milk or your oat milk or your cashew milk, is actually fortified with vitamin D. So some of them sitting on the shelves aren't actually fortified. So just flip it over, check out the nutritional facts table, and make sure that vitamin D is at about 45%, which is equivalent to what cow's milk is. For a full list of other vitamin D rich food sources, check out the link in the description. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe as well, and I will see you guys next time.